Well, good afternoon, everybody. I thought I would uh, just bring out a little video here. I got a comment from a person that had suggested that I, you know, he kind of felt my pain regarding some of the stuff that was going on with DJI and the Mavic with the overexposure. And he suggested I start shooting in manual mode uh, to set my ISO at 100 and also to either use D-Log or d like And that's exactly what I started to do. So here's a little example of just that. So when I got home from work today, I decided to take the Mavic Pro up. I uh, set the white balance to sunny, and I went ahead and tried the d like I'm shooting 4K, 30 frames a second. Now on the left-hand side of the screen, I've got a split screen done here, just so you can see what it looks like with no color correction or grading done on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, I took a few moments to do some color correcting and color grading on the image. Now, as you can tell, the Cinelike is a very flat style of image, but when, and I have to thank this guy, Bob, because he his suggestion was dead on. Shooting in the Cinelike got rid of that horrible overexposure where it was just completely blown out and yes, it does take some time in post to uh, do some color correcting and then some color grading. But if you see the sky is not blown out on the right hand side, I can, I guess there's enough information in the Decenter like file to where you can pull back a lot of the colors, a lot of the detail, you can add in the contrast, uh, the blacks, the highlights everything that you need to kind of recover the image and then also put your own personal touch on it which I thought was very nice so that's why I shot this video I wanted to give everybody out there an example because you know I've been complaining about this whole new firmware issue and how it's gotten under my skin and DJI's blanket response you know it just from what I understand they've been it's like a copy paste job from what this guy Bob says uh, on all the forums regarding this firmware. So enough of that. Just to kind of show you as we're crossing over the pond here and it does kind of look like pea soup from above because I did shoot the, uh, the pond uh, yesterday with my Phantom 3 standard and it's got that pea soup look to it. So uh, I got to have something to compare it to. But if you look, I mean, you can really bring back the colors. You see all the pumpkins. This is the pumpkin farm down there on the bottom uh, right. You see all the pumpkins, nice and orange. Uh, the black top for the building on the right-hand side, it's, you know, the tar is, asphalt is correct color. It, it, it's amazing that, you know, you can do so much in post. And I know that with filmmaking, I do a lot of post-production on color correction and color grading for stylization of a scene, but I've gotten really spoiled with my Phantom 3 standard and also with the Mavic Pro in the beginning to where I could just fly it up, add a little bit of saturation or take just a little bit of exposure out of the image and it was a usable image. And now with the whole new firmware update, uh, those images aren't as just shotgun ready ready to go again so I'm obviously gonna have to do a lot of work in post to get the image quality that I expect and want out of the Mavic Pro but it was just my way of just you know I thought I'd show up to or sh put up this video just to show everybody that if you don't know how to color grade and you don't know how to color correct there are many tutorials on YouTube. I personally use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, but there, you know, if you're using, uh, oh gosh, DaVinci or whatever uh, editing software that you're using, there's a lot of tutorials out there. If you're interested in me putting up a tutorial on how I color grade and how I color correct, I'll be more than happy to do a video on that just to show how you can bring back colors, adjust colors. Um, but this, you know, doing it this way with Decenter-like, I could actually work on it in post. 
working on it in normal with automatic white balance before, I couldn't bring any of that back. So anyway, I thought it was uh, a helpful video. I hope that uh, you got some use out of it. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure to share it. And also, if you have a question, comment below because I respond to all comments. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe today and click on the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video.